It's been nine days off since the home team last played, and fans here at Little Caesars Arena on this kid's day settle in for an afternoon of hockey. Two of the hottest teams in the NHL, the Red Wings 9-2-2 in January, the Canucks with just one regulation loss, they're past 13. Our goaltenders presented by the Southeast Michigan Ford dealers, Casey DeSmith acquired from Montreal for Tanner Pearson in a third. It's been Thatcher Demko's year, but DeSmith, a five-year penguin, has stepped up when called upon for Vancouver this season. And at the other end, his 22nd start tonight for Alex Lyon, all in the past 35 games, as we are underway as Comfer, Perron, and Patrick Kane in game number 1,200. And his first in nine start up front for the Red Wings with Ben Sherratt back to pick it up. His first in six after he was out for a while because of the All-Star break in the bye week. Vancouver starting with one of their new acquisitions. Elias Lindholm up with Brock Besser, 30 goal scorer, and JT Miller. So two JT starting for their respective teams. As back to get it is Sherratt on defense with Petrie. A usual pairing for the Red Wings, but for Sherratt's injury, Perron gets to center. Red Wings in the midst of a change. Dylan Larkin on a 12-game point streak joins Raymond. Raymond right in the goal. Oh, he scores! What a beauty! What a ball! Lucas Raymond! Whoa! 45 seconds in right off the bench. Holy mackerel. What a great play by Sherrod, or Perron, actually. To go back to Raymond, who he knew was in, in full gear, and Perron's at the end of his shift. Oh my gosh, what a deek. Did he put on that goaltender or what? Wow. 16 points the past 16 games for Lucas Raymond. And point number 42. And goal number 14. Raymond with the Brinkett and Larkin. The Brinkett and Larkin's numbers together analytically speaking have been fantastic. The Brinkett's got it now. Ahead for Dylan Larkin. Larkin carries in, rink wide for Raymond. Back in front, that got blocked. Comes back to Wallman, moved it quickly to Larkin. Larkin into the slot, that got knocked away. Peron and Petrie assisting on the Lucas Raymond goal as both teams now in the midst of a change and we play just 90 seconds into this one on a Saturday afternoon. Fastest goal this season to start a game for the Red Wings, 45 seconds in for Lucas Raymond. And it's kids day this afternoon and you'll hear the announcements in the background. <laughs> Eric Freine's taught them well. This will be an icing against Detroit. Well, so much for me. <laughs> my Taco Bell take. My first thought was a careful start. Yeah, the Vancouver Canucks have played two of the games, two games already. And uh, bingo, Lucas Raymond uh, puts that to bed and eyes on 43. Quinn Hughes, what a hockey player this guy is. His mom and dad, I'm sure, are in the crowd today. And he is uh, up for Norris Volts all over the place, leading this team from the blue line. Hockey IQ off the chart. And the guy he's paired with, Philip Peronik, has done pretty well too, and both share the NHL lead in the plus department at plus 32. Cop laid one back and then gets taken away. Sent in by Teddy Bluger, number 53 for Vancouver, brought out here by Ole Mata. Next week, these two teams will meet again back in Vancouver. Red into the Western Canada trip. Peronik got it across here for Bluger. Bluger patiently to center. Vancouver's played two games in the time the Red Wings have played. Not Lyon tried to punch it along, got crossed up. Wraparound try there by Phil DiGiuseppe, the former Michigan Wolverine, who's playing his first game. Since January 2nd, he missed 14 with a lower body injury. Phil DiGiuseppe. Valeno got on it. Back there, number 88, Nils Oman. Big collision in behind. Sent up to center for DiGiuseppe. Back to retrieve came Wallman. Checked there by Ilya Mikheyev, the former Toronto Maple Leaf. Back to get it, Tyler Myers. 
Perron patiently with it. Game number 1100 for him. And 11 points now the past 15 games, including the early start in this one for David Perron. Thompson, Perron, knocked away there by Miller for Elias Lindholm. The former Calgary Flame, recently acquired by Jim Rutherford, well before the trade deadline, which will be March the 8th. Two days shy of a month away from that. Brock Besser in there to dig it free. Number six with 30 goals, 12 on the power play. That shot gets deflected in front of Lyon. Played out by Perron to center. Lead pass in for Besser. Knocked away by Petrie off Kane to Comfer. And turning with it, near side. Number 47, Noah Juleson. The defenseman brings it in. Juleson's shot went off the skate of Sirach. Back of the net for Elias Patterson. He got bumped. Number 40 for Vancouver. Canucks play it back to the line. Juleson with it. Put it back in down low again. Getting it back and a save made by Lyon. Nice move by it right there. Get away from double. Red Wings got it out to center. On a second time. Played out by Hironik. Coming in with speed comes Connor Garland. In front, that third line for Vancouver has been really good. They're out there now. Garland gets taken to the boards by Petrie, mirroring there in the corner. Petrie gets a stick on it. Played it around off the glass. Raymond stayed with it. The Brinkett lays one back. On for Wallman. Now was out of the reach of Kopp. Came right to the Smith, who will then hold on. Well, Joe Valeno to the rescue as <laughs> Lyon got all tangled up and that puck's in an empty net. If it's not for number 90, doing a good job defensively, back in his own zone, right in the crease for that one. The Canucks have uh, given up four. Look Shorties out. the past three. Red Wings give up the puck there to McKayev. Dropped it back in a Ooh, blocker four. save. Off Nils Oman by Lyon. And the Red Wings pop one up in their own zone. But in a 1-0 lead on the Lucas Raymond goal, Ilya Mikheyev. Back it goes for Hughes. Such an elite skater, just like his brothers. And Jack just returned for New Jersey. Luke on the Devils defense. Carried out here by Gostas Bear. Lead pass for Fabry, who's been dropped down to the fourth line with Valeno and Strong. With Kane coming back right in on to Smith, and he'll hold on. Well, here we go. The only goal of the game. Watch this play by Petrie. What a great pass. Look where 23 is. He gives it to Perron, who's at the end of a shift. He sees that Raymond's flying up the left wing and gives it right back to him, and that's where it all started. Tyler Myers, not strong defensively, even though he's big. And what a move. Raymond laid on the goaltender to Smith to slam it into the open net. 45 seconds in. That's doing the job offensively, for sure. All started by Petrie. Back behind his goaltender. And we all miss Petrie and light the lamp. You know why? Including this afternoon, which is still early. He now has 17 points the past 19 games against Vancouver. Go figure. Really? Yeah. No kidding, go figure. <laughs> Started early here today. Earliest goal the Redmonds have scored this season. Back of the net for Wallman, who's up pressing along with Fisher. To the line for Ole Mata. Ooh, look out. Lost look it out. there at the line. Oh, the bullet. Wow. As Q Suter couldn't move it up ice. Number 24. It was one more year on his two-year deal he signed with Vancouver. That might have been a 10-day off move right there, Ken. <laughs> Penalty coming here to Detroit. And perhaps Hughes was hooked a little bit, and button hook gets the line. Oh. Hughes cuts back to the middle. And then had it taken away as he gave it away in a hooking call to Detroit. Eight seconds past the halfway point of the first period. The Brinkett gang now. Maverick born Sunday night. Younger brother to Archie, wife Lindsay. And it's good that Alex could get back from the All-Star game. And Bieber and all the boys. And what a great game he had. Six points and a shootout goal. Here's Elias Pedersen. Down low. Now shot goes wide. Back here for Pedersen again. 
Back in front, bouncing puck, Ryan trying to find it. On it was Lindholm. Enor Miller could get it, Fesser back to Lindholm. Back for Elias Pedersen. Pedersen with it, 27 goals, 10 on the power play, back for Hughes. Beautiful. That shot deflected and off the outside of the net, off the apron by Pedersen on the back end. Here's J.T. Miller. Hughes with a shot. Came back out to the line, Ooh. kept in. Good play by Pedersen in a reach there, along with Quinn Hughes, their captain. What a good looking power play this one. Oh, my goodness. That shot went wide, wow. past Hughes and back down. You can see why they got 42 goals. Sixth best from the NHL on the power play. Here's Larkin. And six for 13 their past four games. Oh, Dylan Larkin. Well, he's going to take them both. Yep. And Larkin's not going to be happy about this. Neither is 18, 19,000 people. And look who's going, the two captains. Hey, two minute penalty number 43, two minute minor for holding the stick. Detroit penalty number 71, two minute minor for roughing. The two former Wolverines. No. Yeah. Uh, Larkin got really upset, but he'd already thrown a punch that got him the roughing call right there. This wasn't even a punch. He hit him on the back of the shoulder. Anyway, but you notice he kept his stick down. He could have cross-checked. Yeah, he was exactly. coming at him right in the face and right. not to do that. So a tie there to this building. I think Tyler Myers. This could be a nice thing. No. Leave it off. Round it came for Perron, checked there by Myers. A pair of 57s on the near boards. Big height discrepancy there. <laughs> Saved by Lyon off the McKay of attempt, taken by Teddy Bluger. Point shot, that gets knocked away off the stick of big Nikita Zadorov. Canucks have some size in that back end for sure with Myers and Zadorov. As they've done some work with Calgary to make some deals to pick up some key players. Back in deep by Nils Oman. He was a free agent signing. There's Phil DiGiuseppe, who played at Michigan with Comper and Kopp. DiGiuseppe after it again. He got knocked off stride by a bump by Petrie, then came loose into the middle. There's a shot, and DiGiuseppe had that go off Sherrod and out of play. Rasmussen ahead for Fisher. Oh, nice, nice play. play to Kopp, and wow. then he lost. <laughs> very, very nice play to be ahead of that. So Hughes, Larkin out of their respective sin bins. Comes back off the draw for Petrie, the shot, and a save made by DeSmith. Quick up and in here for Hoaglander off the goal post. Nils Holglander with 14 goals, a career high in the season, rattled the iron there. Back for Ben Chirac. His first in six games off the upper body injury. Back it comes for Strong. We're in the old number 17 of Philip Peronic. Where's that for Fabry to Strong? Comfer. Strong will go for a change. Comfer delayed seeing that for Fabry. On comes Kane. Pomper, shot! Smith out on that. Wallman in behind a Comper. Loose puck here, Micaiah. Sider on him. Wallman goes deep with Nils Oman. Played ahead by Wallman, off Comper. Loose puck again for Micaiah. Shooting one that Lyon will hold on to. Hometown guy, and they'll get that. The brink it turns with it. <laughs> Kept in here by Sider. Four to brink it. Oh. Off Raymond. Wow. Regathered there by Valeno. Good puck retrieval by number 90. Tipped in front. Raymond, a piece of that. Comes around for Debrinket. Kane quietly lurking far side. He's got it now. 
Patrick Kane walks in, fires one, and a save by DeSmith. Milano knocked down. Myers on it. Good job by DeBrinket to converge on him with Raymond. Came in front, though, and cleared down the ice by Ian Cole. Patrick Kane with a little shake of the hand, like, oh, God dang it, I should have got that through. Back for Perron again. Played it into the middle. And without a stick is Juleson. Oh, that hit? Wow. Juleson didn't get one again as Larkin just sent it wide. So the defenseman still without a stick. Back out of the box comes the door off. So back at even strength. And then cleared by Vancouver with 15 to go on the period. Ahead for Perron. Myers for Besser. Kicked it ahead to Connor Garland. And hit the round glass on the shoot and attempt there by Pedersen. After a long, long break. Way too long, really, for an NHL player. But so far, they've handled it well. It was a grinding first period. And you can see why this Canucks team has the points that they do. They'll get called for right nope. here. Hughes at the line, able to keep it in. Then without a stick is Sider. Hughes Shooter. Up along with Pedersen. Down it goes. Into the slot from Hoaglander. Here's Hughes with a shot. That got knocked down and now a broken stick for Debrink. Quinn Hughes came into the fray. And Pedersen backing him up, finds Aronik, scores! What, what a turn. shot! You got, you got something going on with the goaltender there. He went flat on his rear end. Could be. What the heck was that? Whoa. But for the moment, it's 1-1 as New Zealand alone checks the floor where the TV monitor is, along with the, his video crew inside. Suter in behind Wallman, but does Wallman push him in? Oh, Wallman knocked him down. And Wallman bumped yeah. into Lyon, yep. who would have had the chance to reset in that time. Unlikely challenge here. Yep. Wallman knocked him it down. It was the right leg of Wallman that took uh, Lyon right down. But what a shift by Vancouver. Lost stick by Sider, got it back. Broken stick by Debrinket. And Hironic can sure blast it. We know all about that. There it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that thing is going up. Might have been a handcuff for a goaltender anyway. There's the broken stick of to bring it, and then the Canucks come up with a loose puck. That's the key there. Yeah. And they did a lot of that on that shift. That shift had to be close to a minute when normal shifts are around 40 to 45. And full control by the team in white to tie the game. Red Wings with 10 double-digit goal scores. Kane needs three. Valeno just one. <laughs> to join that group. Vancouver has 11 players with 10 or more goals, one more than Detroit. Here's Bluger. And he fanned on it. Just got his stick in there a little bit. To shake him up a little was Goss to spare. Ahead for Rasmussen, grabbed by Jules. Backhanded in by Bluger, and Goss to spare has it again. This is where this uh, 10 days off or nine days off for Detroit might come into play in the advantage for Vancouver having had played. Two games already earlier this week, and Detroit needs to be really careful here. And the Canucks are flying out of the gate in the second period. In comes Oman. Up along with Mikhaev. Wallman tipped it to the near side. Lifted out by Strong. And the Canucks regroup. Oh. A little trick there by Hughes. Just got a piece of the Leno stick. I think to lift it. The back in from Spawn. Spawn's got it firing and a save by DeSmith and he'll gather the rebound. Kane playing his 20th game. He's got seven goals and 16 points. 14 of those points to pass 13 for number 88. Elias Pedersen fired wide. Hoaglander left it there and DeBrinket says thanks. For Raymond with Larkin. Played by DeSmith. Raymond went down. There's a penalty upcoming. Well, this, this was going on. And now Larkin's going to try to come to his help, and Raymond's not up. 
But something happened on the rush, whether it was a slash on Raymond. Did he catch Raymond? Oh, boy. Oh, he hit him in the head. A little oh, piece of the head. Did, sure he, did. Did, he, did he come through the body first is the question. Looked like he hit the, the right side of his head. Oh, geez. That's a nasty. That's a big man in Zadoros, but no one does hit it. Hit hard. And the league does examine every hit. And we'll see what the call is here. The referee, Carter Sandler. There's a major penalty under the play. It's on, upon review. Yeah. So cool. they can now review to see if they lessen it or keep it. And Brandon Blandina and Carter Sandlack in consultation with the Situation Room and Raymond going to the dressing room. That Where's right, the, the, it's the right not, they no longer call it initial point of contact. They don't. But the position of Raymond didn't change. <laughs> it looked like from those angles right there. Upon review, the call was upheld. 91 Vancouver has assessed a match penalty for head contact. Yeah. So five minutes. Even though yeah. uh, it looks like the contact was simultaneous to the chest and the head, uh, and it may have been just a hair ahead on the, on the head, and therefore the match penalty. So, so Zadorov, five minute major, is gone for the game, and five minutes on the board. And the Red Wings, regardless of how many they could score, Red Wing fans hope lots will stay on the power play unless they take one of their own. So Rick Tockett down a big defenseman, literally and figuratively, for the rest of this game. We'll have the western portion of that Canadian trip here on Valley Sports Detroit. We won't have the Seattle game for you. That'll be on the network. But remember, it was around this time last year that the Red Wings swept Western Canada. They'd won seven of the games. They were in the playoff hunt until Andre Vasilevsky shut him out here with a 45 save performance and then the two in Ottawa. Strong shot went wide, which changed the course of that season and this team. Long shot by Sider, wide, Valeno in front, and Kane couldn't get a stick on that. 3.05 to go in the five minute. Man advantage with Sidorov gone for the game. Went off Pedersen, comes to Kane. Getting the return feed from Debrinket. Kane to the dot. He wants Valeno if he can get him. Oh, he tried, but it got picked off in front. Juleson with a stick down to knock it away. He had two guys to go to. For Perron. Shoveled one back, Gosses Barry able to keep it in for Fabry. Save made, in and out of the glove of DeSmith and back come the Canucks the other way. Elias Lindholm with Bluger, plays back, late man coming. It was Myers, knocked down, and Perron with a lead pass the other way. Dylan Larkin back in. Fabry directing traffic with his stick. Wanted the play back for Comfer. Fabry gets a stick in there, Myers digging for it. Comfer nudge one to the corner for Perron. Gets chased by Oman. And went right back through the middle and down with 1.45 to go in the five minute penalty. Well, they've changed every other rule to, to get offense in the game, an offensive face off, right? Yeah. This is just to Smith's fourth start since the calendar turn. It's been all Thatcher Denton. And we'll be up for the Vesna Trophy, you'd think, with Connor Hellebuck. Comfer across. And those two give the United States great goaltending. Hellebuck, Demko going forward in international competition. Comfer couldn't bring it to the front, played one back, and Perron was stopped. Oh, oh an inadvertent high stick. Oh, right to Larkin. Careful, David. Don't do anything in retaliation. Jeez. What happened last time when your captain went down, and that one was certainly inadvertent, but Larkin took one right in the chops from his former teammate. Jeez. You've already lost Raymond. And Hironic right oh, there. Vancouver number 17, <laughs> minor penalty, high sticking. It's interesting, you know. It, you, there's oh, a, I know there's a rule if you're if you see blood, it's an extra two. Doesn't that hurt just as much as if his lip were cut just a little bit? Sure. Like four. That's I know it's in the book, an injury occurred, but that's an injury. That is a British Columbia too, Andrew. No pun intended. 
the Vancouver Canucks for British Columbia. There you go, BC, BC two-hander. Two -hander. Yeah. For sure. Holy smoke. Oh. So nine seconds remain in the Zadora penalty. A lot of emotions in this game. Red Wings win the face out, five on three. Here's Goss Despair moving it in for Kane. Across, had it taken on the backhand, was sprung to Kane, and he fanned on it. Loose puck gobbled up, now five on four. With Hoaglander serving Zadorov's match penalty back out. To Brinkett. Valeno in front. Finds Goss Bear, looks to Kane. Kane with it. A flipper. Goss Bear across to Brinkett. The shot. Passed everybody and down. Comfort. Good move to gain entry. Just couldn't get it across to Fabry, but Larkin able to recover in more ways than one. Larkin back for Fabry. On to Comfort. Back for Sider. Cross now, Perron mishandled and escapes. Checked by Joshua. Loose puck cleared by Vancouver. A lot of that going on on nine minutes uh, or seven minutes of penalty time against Vancouver. And Red Wings have hardly got two shots on goal. Look out here. Patterson tried to knock it out of the air. Tough play for Lyon. Had to wait not to play it outside the trapezoid. Larkin twirling with it for Comper. For Larkin again to Fabry. Three seconds to go on the power play. Into the slot. Check. Look out here. Horonic's out of the box. Horonic's in behind. Sider trying to catch. Horonic in the goal. He scores! Wow. Philip Horonic with a goal and an assist. What a turnaround. Right. Seven wow. minutes of power play time and out of the box. Horonic makes it two to one and Vancouver. What, and what a move he put on. Oh, smoke. No problem with onside. He had the motorcycle kick on the left leg and he froze Lyon. Watch the left leg. There, there it is. Throws him. Goes to the forehand. That's not an easy move to make and slipped it underneath his pad. That is a goal scorer's move by Hironik, and what a place for him to do it. Right here where he started his NHL career. Boy, oh boy. And what a happening for the Canucks to get through seven minutes. Back it comes for Miller, tipped and just over top of the goal by Brock Besser. Horonic with a shot saved by Lyon. Horonic will be a restricted free agent end of the season. He could be looking upwards of eight million a year. Can Vancouver afford to keep him? And in part, the Red Wings knew that was coming, and that's in part why that deal was made and winding up with Sandine Pelica down the road. Bill DiGiuseppe who missed 14 to injury in his first game. It's early January, DiGiuseppe had to go off him, Larkin. DiGiuseppe knocking it down. Cross forward to Brinkett. Had it taken away. So in the absence of Raymond, Sprong on this line. So the door off on the back end, gone for the night for Vancouver. Not sure yet about Lucas Raymond. Save made, rebound out front. A big loss having Raymond without for, for your seven minutes of power play. He gets a lot of that time. Now I do see Lucas Raymond down the tunnel. So it looks like he will be back. Not certain yet. He had to go to protocol after the hit. Yeah. But that would be good news that at least he's got his equipment on and uh, perhaps returning. Yet. Just trying to shake off the effects of that high hit from Zadorov, who could face further discipline. Or a fine from the league, we'll see. And the Red Wings, remember, will play Vancouver coming up this week on the West Coast, so could play into that too on Thursday. Edmonton Tuesday, Vancouver Thursday, Calgary next Saturday, a week today. Hironik, he's been a thorn in the Red Wings side, shot wide by Suter, and they score Pedersen from Suter and Hironik. Off the backboards. Yep. Two former Red Wings combining, and Pedersen, who didn't play a lot against Boston, making up for lost time, and has scored his 28th 
And point number 67. He's got a goal and an assist, Pedersen, this it afternoon. Didn't, it didn't look like a planned off the backboard. You're, you got man-to-man -man coverage. Shot comes from the slot, misses the net, but Pedersen peels off of Ben Sherratt and banks it off the right pad of Lyon, and it's been a Vancouver Canucks second period for sure. In spite of seven minutes of power play by the Red Wings, with five shots on goal during those seven minutes, but very little quality in those five. I shortchanged Pedersen. He's been in on all three. A goal and two helpers, as has Horonic. Three points for Horonic. A goal and two assists. And Suter with an assist on the last one. Comes back out to center. Just over six to go in the second period. As the Red Wings scored first in this game for the fourth consecutive game. Canucks fell behind, but coming back, saved by DeSmith. Vancouver had scored first 33 times leading the National Hockey League, but we're down by one. And you see the goal differential in the second period, plus 22 on the Valley Bar for Vancouver, best in the NHL. And their overall goal differential, best in the NHL. Second highest scoring team to Colorado. Red Wings aren't far behind, but they need some to get closer here. Off the backboards, there's Raymond. Good to see him back. Finds Mata, tipped and up high off the brink, it's sticking out of play. Stinker aside, and as we mentioned, Vancouver has not lost more than two straight just twice this season of any kind. So they've been able to put losses aside. Well, there's been a lot of talk there in that break about lack of sharpness, and that certainly manifested itself through this second period. Now, certainly the Canucks deserve credit for the way they came out of the gate in the second, but Detroit has not been sharp here in the second period. A lot of mishandles and bad bounces, you call them what you want, but nine days off, that's what you get. Well, the good news is the Red Wings do have eight third period comeback victories. That's second most in the NHL and 15 total comeback wins. That's third most in the NHL. Just in case you want to pin your hopes on that with three to go here in the second, but you don't want to give away the puck like that. Make it harder on yourself. Garland with a shot and that hit a leg. Fabry's got it. He'll just backhand it under Canuck pressure. Before their loss in Boston, Vancouver, the past dozen, went 10-0-2. They had a 12-game point streak going. Fourth longest in club history. The Canucks have only had three outright losses their past 25 games. Here's Raymond. He took a hit from Juleson, made the play, though, following up as Wallman on the wing for Debrinket. And that shot went off the stick of Ian Cole. And a mix up here. Raymond and Juleson. And Larkin came in. And being down three to one, this is what you're going to get. Man advantage here. Larkin and Raymond in the box for roughing. Oglander for Vancouver roughing. So Vancouver now with the man advantage. And the uh, five minute majors for fighting to, to break it to pole. One from Farmington Hills and the other from Ann Arbor. Kept in by Hughes. Cross for Pedersen. He's got himself a three-point night. A goal and two helpers for Elias Pedersen. He's got it again. Go far side. Hughes. Into the slot. Lynn Holm. Brock Besser. To Pedersen. To the middle for Hughes. Check. Top clears. Comfort couldn't get away. Hughes back to retrieve. All Wolverines here. Out of gas. He's comfort. He's got to get off the ice. JT Miller put it behind. Comes back for Quinn One Hughes minute. again. One Patterson One looked for a redirect in front and then just tapped wide by Miller. And down the ice it goes. 
Miller leading Vancouver with 68 points. Minute and 15 shift for the penalty killer. Corona, his first points in 10 games this afternoon, his first three-point game. And it comes against his former team. Suter's got an assist, two carries in for Mikheyev. Back for Hirona. Darlin goes back Hironik's way. Now to Pew Suter. Hironik shot, stop. Who hasn't had a point yet this afternoon, but Elias Pedersen has a goal and two helpers. And is on the verge in a few seconds when he steps out onto the ice of passing his ice time that he played all of Thursday night against Boston when he was just over 14 minutes. Philip Peronik with his first three-point game against his former team. And that's where we sit. Pedersen and Heronik in on all the goals. Vancouver scored. Second highest scoring team in the league. Saved there by Lyon. And they're playing their third game since the bye week and break. The Red Wings playing their first. And a penalty coming yep. here. And yep. if the Red Wings failed on seven straight minutes of power play time and then Corona comes out of the box and scored. And uh, that made it two to one. It's an innocent looking trip on Patrick Kane. And he's not uh, real happy with uh, Myers about that innocent looking trip. Maybe it wasn't so innocent over there by the penalty box. That's knocked down by Dakota Joshua. A little handle just like that, Ken. That's the sharpness that Malone was talking about before the game. Or lack of. Perron. Goss's bear moves it across. Fabry right to the goal and a save by DeSmith. As Michigan and Michigan State will play here tonight, the Red Wings have the most points of any team from players in the University of Michigan this season with 100. Vancouver next with 72. Most of those from Quinn Hughes and another eight from Phil DiGiuseppe. Lucas Raymond who took that hard hit in the second. Okay to return in the second. Kane survey shoots. Valeno couldn't get a piece of that. Comes back to the line. Kept alive. Oh a big hit into the board again on Raymond. This time by Myers. Boy, could he have two bigger players hit him in this game than Myers and Zadorov? I don't think so. Comes back here for Sider. That shot hit a leg. Raymond collides again with Myers. In the slot! Score! Sprung from Kane! It's 3-2! Sets him up for the goal. Five seconds left in the power play. He gets in between the defensive players. I mean, not more than six feet in front of the goaltender to Smith, and basically just slaps it through him. Sprong's 14th goal, his seventh goal the past 19 games. Valeno getting the other help. 234 power play goal, 3-2 game, point shot Sherrod. Hogland. He tied up the game at one early in the second. Here comes Kopp. Couldn't get a shot away. Pedersen just tipped it out of harm's way and got knocked down by Sherrod Rasmussen hobbling a little bit. Petrie, intended for Rasmussen, tipped though by J.T. Miller, whose stick broke. And Rasmussen able to keep it in as a result. Here's Kopp in front of the net. And Fisher couldn't get to it, as is played out by Noah Juleson. Sherrod. That's Sprong's third power play goal of his 14 on the season. And his 14th point the past 19 games. And Strong has left the bench. To go down toward the dressing room. And we'll check on his return. 
But he has got the Red Wings within a goal. Knocked down by Myers. Left behind for Dakota Joshua. He'll be an unrestricted free agent in the season. And having a nice season to have that with a career high 12 Whoa. goals. Wow. Knocked down by Myers. Her cane was in the clear. Here's Mata. Fanned on it. Dumped it to the corner for Wallman. Back for Mata. Looks for Debrinket. There's a shot. And a piece of that by DeSmith. Behind for Comfer and around for Kane. Surveys. Little twitch there. Finds the brink. It just over his stick. Dumped in. Hoaglander goes there with Gostasker. Hoaglander dumped it in behind for Elias Patterson. And on Kids Day here at Little Caesars Arena, a lot of noise coming. Point shot, good save by Lyon. Shot from Ian Cole. Mickey Redmond's gone down between the bench. Yeah, we're looking for a little bit more uh, sharpness that we didn't get in the second period for sure. You were talking about uh, Quinn Hughes earlier. He and Koronek uh, by leading the bus big time for Vancouver, almost 17 minutes after 40. Both of these guys are on the ice a lot. JT Miller put it near side for Brock Besser. Besser wearing number six for a good friend of his, Ty Elliott. Back in 2014, passed away in a car crash. Here's Perron for Comfort. Back for Perron, skate the stick. He does that so well, a pass in his feet. Kick it up. Comfort around for Kane. Off the switch comes Fabry. There it is for him. And cleared by the Canucks for Besser. Well, I'm sure before, sooner or not later, Ken, they're going to start differentiating between hits, too. You know, like grade A scoring chances is just a scoring chance. Grade A hits as opposed to just a touch. Yeah, usually is a shot by Wallman. Scores! It's in! Wallman let it go! It's a tie game! 3-3! Three, three. Maybe change direction in front, Rasmussen. When Rasmussen came off the ice his last shift in some kind of discomfort for sure but not enough to keep him off the lineup. And there's a touch in front of the net. This, did this go off Kane or Cop? Not sure, one of them in front of the net. Redirected it for sure. And we've got ourselves a scratch game. Whoa. Well, we said the Red Wings had eight third period comebacks coming in, tied for second in the league, and 15 total comebacks, third best. And they've come back here with two to tie. And the crowd coming at you. Here they come again, strong, and a save by Smith. Loose in front of the goal. And Gossiper tied up. And that just missed. Played eight and a half here in the third period. Crowd alive. This is no place for any kind of nervous person. I'm here to tell you, the heat turned up big time. Third line comes up big for the Red Wings. Rasmussen from Wallman and Fisher at 751. Knocked ahead for Lynn Holm, not a best. Back for Lynn Holm. Well, it took a couple of periods for the Red Wings to find their legs. They got the energy now. Playing their first in 10 days. Vancouver their third this week. Sometimes you will get that discrepancy off the All-Star break in the bye week. Nice jump by Lyon right there to intercept a a roundabout by Vancouver that they would have had possession again. 
This is the third game of a five-game road trip for Vancouver. They'll be in Washington tomorrow at Chicago Tuesday, then home to Detroit Thursday. Now they'll have some travel involved. The Red Wings will already be out west playing Edmonton on Tuesday night. Larkin finishes his check. Ahead for Dakota Joshua. Up for Connor Garland. Taken away and the Red Wings back the other way, but that couldn't connect. It'll come back as an icing charge against Detroit. There was the, the mass in front of the net. Top was there. And Rasmussen, who just on the forehand, that hits him, and we got a tie game. And the exuberant Red Wings bench, as you might expect. Tough second period. He's behind them right now. Raymond chipped it out. Hoaglander back for Horonic. He's been on all three of Vancouver goals. Suter gets it in. Goss is there, circles and sprays and stops and gives it to the Brinkett. Who reverses that? Stolen there by Pedersen. Josh Fisher off the ice. Off the bench. Look at here. Long pass. Too far for Rasmussen, but he's got it off the backboard. In on goal. Uh -huh. And he couldn't get a shot away. Oh, and out of play it went. And this Vancouver power play, my goodness. They may not be deadly as much tonight, but they really, really get a lot of good luck. They create a lot. They're 0 for 2 in this game. They were twice in the power play against Carolina on Tuesday. Knocked down by Comfort. And remember, they've given up four shorties their past three. Here it comes for Pedersen. Hughes over. Forced by Sider. That's Pedersen on the far side. Miller. Hughes. Pedersen. Cross ice. Miller back in front for Besser. Couldn't get to it. Leas Petters. Miller's directed traffic. He's got it. Dropped it back. What Pedersen. In front. Besser. Backhand. Save by Glenn. They jam away. Oh my. And it stays out. A goal line stand. There was a space between the right skate of Lyon right in my sight line and the, and the right goal post. Jeepers. There's that space. Oh, macro. And then well, they'll be looking Sider, at that. Sider drive, dives back in. And then you've got to worry about a puck being covered up by a glove, which then is a penalty shot. Oh, well, no shot was see. called. So my monitor's not doing do that now, but. They're looking at, uh, I don't know why they're looking at the Vancouver bench. They're, they're going to review from the situation room just to be sure. That did the puck go over the line. The situation room will have the look from our goal net camera, and here's the look you'll see right now. That's good. Cover up the glove. Jeez. I don't know. Where's the puck? I see There's no goal in the play, it is under review. Okay, the call on the ice is no goal, but Lots they will review. review, and they'll see. Lots of review. I mean, I don't, if you can't, the whole idea here is that you can't assume anything, because you know what happens when you do that. What, what is it, Nick? <laughs> you're, you're a good speller. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, the first the two initials are A-S. After and review, the original ice, call on the ice stands, there's no goal. No goal. Okay. So no, no soon. Well, thankfully, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, right. And they are the third and fourth highest scoring teams in the league in the final 40, so maybe this shouldn't be a shot. Just wide there from Miller. Larkin. Ahead for Rasmussen. Hughes. Cross checked a bit by Larkin, then <laughs> given Rasmussen giving it to him also. The rock. Interference there. So there was Elias Lindholm. Kept alive by Hughes for Pedersen. 30 to go on the power play. The Perron in the box. Red Wings the only power play goal in this game. Saved by Lyon. Rebound and wide. 
Perot to the line, but not out as he was pestered. Pedersen. Played back by Besser to Hughes. The shot, a line, a piece of that. That got deflected in front of him, too. Perron out of the box. Patterson the line for Hughes. The shot! And just deflected and wide. Patterson played it oh. inadvertently all the way down, and the Smith out to lead it. Quinn Hughes is just dead coming off the ice. I mean, he's played a ton. Lead pass for oh, Warner. Allman chipped it aside. Teddy Bluger to the line. Heronic. That was blocked. Has it again. Heronic another shot. Knocked down by Sider. Here comes Kane. He's got comp for wide. There it is. There's a shot. Rebound. Perron. Oh, and it was bouncing on him. Fluttering. He couldn't get it to settle. Sider goes for a change. In deep for J.T. Miller. That's it. That's it. Left point shot, tipped by Besser, loose in front, kicked away by Lyon. Pump for a round for Kane. And a good pass ahead for Walman. Walman's shot gets tipped in out of play off Heronic. One Kane. shot, and that could change the game. Yeah, Valeno, Kopp, and Mata, the only other Red Wings without a shot. Here's to Brink. Piece of that. Back down for Jake Wallman, who uh, has an assist and a career-high 19 points now. One more than he had last season and one more goal than last season for Jake Wallman. 10 goals, 19 points, a career-high for both for Jake. Long lead pass for Rasmussen. In for Sider! Circling the net, couldn't complete the wraparound. It's the long reach in there from Tyler Myers prevented that. Fisher played it back where Sider would be normally but couldn't get over there in time. Big difference when you got a guy like Sider and Rasmussen going against uh, anybody size and strength wise and weight wise. Long flipper wide of the Smith. Out at center for Goss to spare just swings it back in as the Red Wings will get a change. Out comes Kane and Comfer and Perron. Comfer, Perron tipped to Kane. Patrick Kane in and he lost it. Bluger, puck jumped on him. Mata able to tie up Dakota Joshua. Kane tried to flip it ahead. Comfer had to take it on his backhand. Sent in by Brock Besser. But back to the line by Miller. Knocked down by Kane. Perron the rest of the way as the Red Wings can complete a change. Teams are playing like it's overtime now, a minute and a half. Connor Garland. Toward the net. Kicked away Lyon. Rasmussen. For Christian Fisher, just too far for him. Puck loose, stopped at the line by Sider offside. That puck just barely delayed on the blue. Did oh, not cross. Shot from Bluger to Rasmussen. It's Dakota Joshua He's there. He's a big kid. He's a big boy. Yeah, Rick Tocken loves his upside, the former Little Caesars graduate. That's huge for Vancouver to get those two guys off the ice in this time period in a tie tie game. Go to Joshua and Teddy Bluger for Vancouver. Wow. There's Adam Foot. He was a member of those Avalanche Red Wing rivalries. I think he remembers Slava Kozlov. <laughs> and Larry Onoff. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they're speaking English. I don't think so. <laughs> but neither one wants to give up space. So off the draw with 65 seconds left in regulation. Vancouver tied for the lead lead with Boston in points. Myers. That's deflected. Red Wings in the second wild card spot. One point behind Tampa coming into play this afternoon. Two up on the Islanders. Going wide. Myers glove by Lyon. Well, Vancouver's got 
some pretty darn good size and that, when you get into the cycling game that's to their advantage and that's why Lions had enough of that we're just shutting her down and hope we win the face off here in the defensive zone. On the draw Vancouver wins it back for Hughes. Comp for chasing. Hughes to the net knocked away though nice by Patriot. Good job by Comp to stay with a quick foot. Oh. Aronic lost it. Fisher digging for it. And De Smith gets the trapper on it and hangs on, smothers it. Bounce and puck. Aronic's happy that his goaltender was able to cover that up. Look at that thing. Just hop right over his stick. He went to make a pass. Red Wings discussing this uh, face-off alignment. They got just 38 percent in the offensive zone this afternoon. And scramble draw. Who will come up with it? Fired out to center. Chirac sends it back in. Ian Cole clears. It. Dozen seconds to go in the third. I want to kill it. Here we go. Red Wings are four and six in overtime. Vancouver three and three. Red Wings get a much needed point in the standings in the second wild card spot. Huge point for Detroit looking for another one. Now Kenny. Yeah. With Rasmussen in the box. He usually starts overtime as for one reason. He's good defensively for number two back up for center ice. And now you've got Wallman Raymond and Larkin. Only one center on the ice. Right. With Rasmussen in the box. So Dylan, don't get waved out. Did. Right. And they do get control. Remember the other night? They uh, didn't have control. B against Vegas. Ottawa. Never touched it. Never touched the puck in, yep. in overtime. Ottawa won in overtime. 3 2. Oh. Consecutive games. Raymond taken oh. up into the board by his countryman Pedersen. Escaped the hit. And he gets it ahead to Wallman. Wallman in on goal. And oh boy. penalty coming and a save made. Penalty, penalty, penalty shot. Penalty for shot. Jake Wallman. Penalty shot in overtime. Well, will you take this back and see what Raymond did back in the Vancouver zone? I don't know whose stick he grabbed, whether it was Pedersen. Pedersen. Wait a minute. No check. penalty. Penalty shot. There's a better Bring announcement. Right. Will you see the replay of. Uh, when Raymond was scrambling, I think it was Peterson, he grabbed his stick. Could have been a penalty call very easily right there. Watch Raymond and Peterson. Look at it right there. <laughs> oh, geez. That's a battle for the puck, and Wallman, here he goes. So it's Jake Wallman with the game on his stick, on to Smith. Scores! How about this for a silly? Oh, my God. Wallman, 4-3, two huge points for Detroit. What a comeback. Oh, my goodness. Holy mackerel. Oh, he's still doing the gritty. His shot set up the tying goal, and his shot is the winning goal. Holy mackerel. A career-high 11. 3-1. And you said starting the third period, what was the odds? Vancouver had not lost. 29 0 and 1. Wow. When leading after two. I have not lost in regulation, but that is the ninth third period comeback for the Red Wings. Wow. Tied for first and the 16th total comeback victory for Detroit. And, uh,. <laughs> Sider was still not out of the penalty box because of the. Uh, <laughs> just give me a fist bump, Snyder. Oh, jeez. There's Wallman. He picked his spot over the pad under the trapper. Game over. What a comeback after nine days off. It was all Canucks in the second. And uh, it looked pretty sad for Detroit with all that time off and they were out of sync in the second period. Canucks came after them big time. And to have this kind of a comeback and finish, boy, oh boy, does this ever go a long way to go with what they did 
in January, Ken, for the confidence level of this team going forward on the road trip starting on Tuesday night.